Let your doors be open, a Lebanon, so that fire may be burning among your cedars. Give a cry of grief, O fir tree, for the fall of the cedar, because the great ones have been made low. Give cries of grief, O you oaks of Bashan, for the strong trees of the wood have come down. The sound of the crying of the keepers of the flock. For their glory is made waste, the sound of the loud crying of the young lions. For the pride of Jordan is made waste. This is what the Lord my God has said, Take care of the flock of death, whose owners put them to death and have no sense of sin. And those who get a price for them say, May the Lord be praised for I have much wealth, and the keepers of the flock have no pity for them. For I will have no more pity for the people of the land, says the Lord. But I will give up everyone into his neighbor's hand and into the hand of his king, and they will make the land waste, and I will not keep them safe from their hands. So I took care of the flock of death, for those who made profit out of the flock. And I took for myself two rods, naming one beautiful, and the other bands. And I took care of the flock. And in one month I put an end to the three keepers of the flock. For my soul was tired of them, and their souls were disgusted with me. And I said, I will not take care of you. If death comes to any, let death be its fate. If any is cut off, let it be cut off. And let the rest take one another's flesh for food. And I took my rod beautiful, cutting it in two, so that the Lord's agreement, which he had made with all the peoples, might be broken. And it was broken on that day, and the sheep traders, who were watching me, were certain that it was the word of the Lord. And I said to them, If it seems good to you, give me my payment, and if not, do not give it. So they gave me my payment by weight, thirty shekels of silver. And the Lord said to me, Put it into the storehouse, the price at which I was valued by them. And I took the thirty shekels of silver and put them into the storehouse in the house of the Lord. Then I took my other rod, the one named Vans, cutting it in two, so that the relation of brothers between Judah and Israel might be broken. And the Lord said to me, Take again the instruments of a foolish keeper of sheep. For see, I will put a sheep keeper over the land, who will have no care for that which is cut off, and will not go in search of the wanderers, or make well what is broken, and he will not give food to that which is ill, but he will take for his food the flesh of the fat, and let their feet be broken. A curse on the foolish keeper who goes away from the flock. The sword will be on his arm and on his right eye, his arm will become quite dry and his eye will be made completely dark.